Hello everyone, my name is Ollie and I'm a second year medical student at Warwick Medical School studying on the graduate entry program. Of course, I was eventually going to have to talk about this. This is going to hurt is that medical bestseller that you've heard about recently, containing a collection of stories from ex-obstetrician and gynaecologist Adam Kay. The other reason you might have come across Adam before is that he was one half of the med student musical duo The Amateur Transplants, most famous for their hit London Underground, which I remember listening to sat on the school bus back in 2005. Put that into some kind of perspective, I'm now about to turn 23. That was terrifyingly long ago. During his practicing years as a doctor, Adam kept a collection of secret diaries, and it's those diaries that eventually were turned into this book. It kind of chronicles his misadventures from his very first day as a practicing doctor all the way through to his very last. He goes from a rookie house officer to a fully fledged registrar in that time, becoming increasingly confident and disgruntled as he goes. And although many of the terms have changed since these diaries were written, This Is Going To Hurt still offers a very real look at what the training process for junior doctors is like. I'm just going to read a passage now to illustrate the kind of tone and writing style in this book. Good news stroke bad news. Good news, it's Christmas morning. Bad news, I have to work on labour ward. Worse news, my phone goes off, it's my registrar. I didn't set my alarm and now they're wondering where the hell I am. Even worse news, I'm asleep in my car. It takes me a while to establish where I am or why. Good news, it seems I fell asleep after my shift last night and I'm already at work in the hospital car park. The focus, at least to me when I'm reading this, seems to be very much on offering Adam's insight to a normal person. Of course, there is the benefit that other medics and even, you know, healthcare students like myself can see that it's okay to make mistakes, that it's okay to have kind of weird and horrific things happen to you. But this is one of those titles that really gives a true kind of look into the day-to-day -day happenings of staff on the floor in the NHS. And that might be particularly prescient because this book was released in 2017, a year after the junior doctor's strikes went down. And I think a lot of people, including myself, were worried that after that withdrawal of care, even though it was safe in the way that it was withdrawn, that that might have shifted public opinion to be more negative than we would have liked. And I think this book will be one of those ones that goes a long way towards keeping the public understanding what it is that doctors actually have to go through and giving them that realistic look. Adam's book is a real roller coaster of a read. He is a comedian at heart and he has this kind of tarry black sense of humour that permeates through the entire thing even when awful things are happening all around him. You might not realise it if you've never worked in healthcare, but the staff that do tend to have this kind of horrific sense of humour because of the subject matter that they're surrounded by every day. It's just a coping mechanism. These staff are constantly facing situations where someone might die either due to complication, infection, or just because it's their time to go. But those staff still have a job to do. Even if patients do die, they have to move on and get on with the next task. Nothing stops in the NHS just because someone dies. That's a part of the process and you've got to move on. While some of the entries are simply single paragraph remarks, such as an email from the Undergraduate Learning Centre asking him to stop referring to them as the Early Learning Centre in his emails, many are more fleshed out and they'll revolve around more complex things like caesarean sections or the particularly weird interactions that he's had with patients, and there are plenty of those. Here's another one very quickly. Patient treats us to some tabloid newspaper sensationalist scare story quackery, except it appears this woman may have been holding her paper upside down. She declines the vitamin K because vaccines give you arthritis. The midwife patiently explains that vitamin K isn't a vaccine, it's a vitamin, which is very important to help with baby's blood clotting. And it doesn't cause arthritis. Maybe she's thinking of autism, which also isn't caused by vaccines, which this injection isn't. Nah, the mum says. I'm not taking any chances with my baby's health. To reiterate one final time, the focus of This Is Going To Hurt is very much on explaining to the layperson simply what he did every day with that kind of characteristic sharp, dry delivery. I think the only other major thing to discuss is that, as I said before, by the end of the book, Adam decides to leave his career as a doctor, and as he becomes more experienced and more things happen, 
you do get that really kind of dark, unsettling feeling starting to creep into the tone of how he writes the diaries. And at least in my experience of reading it, as you progress through, as you get towards the final passage, as he explains why he made that decision, everything becomes very stripped back and laid bare. That end passage, without wanting to spoil anything, is ultimately what makes the book worth reading. It goes a long way towards reminding us that doctors are just normal people too at the end of the day, and maybe a group of people that all of us expect a bit too much of sometimes, perhaps without even realising. In this case, it's about what it takes to kind of fundamentally break someone. How would you emotionally tear someone away from that thing that they've been training to do their entire lives? Which I guarantee you will have some sort of impact on you reading this, whether or not you have anything to do with the healthcare system. As I say, everything is stripped away, it's just laid bare and put on the table in front of you. It's told exceptionally well, and I think he's incredibly brave to put things like this forward. As I'm sure you're aware, This Is Gonna Hurt has won numerous awards, spent a long time in the bestseller lists, and it deserves every single second that it's spent in the spotlight. It's a pure and honest piece of work from a medical practitioner, and it should be on everyone's reading list this year. I have absolutely no hesitation in recommending it to you guys, and it's absurdly cheap. I've just bought two more copies this afternoon for less than £4 a piece, and I'm going to be giving those away to you guys in the next couple of videos, so keep an eye out for them. So thanks very much for watching guys, please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for more episodes of Med School Book Club just like this one. Take care and I'll see you next time.